Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll talk about the sexualization of underage K-pop idols. I tried my best explaining everything and I hope you like it. This is a very sensitive topic and I know people wanted me to make a video on it. Disclaimer. Don't take my opinions offensively because that's not what I want with this video. Let's start with the video. I wanna start off with this situation that happened last year with an 11 year old model named Ella Gross. So this happened almost a year ago and that is the sexualization of an 11 year old. So basically Ella was in this ice cream ad and people sexualize her and their reasons were because she looked like an adult and blamed the company who owns the ice cream to portray her with a sexy image. Saying she shouldn't wear makeup and have a dress open like that. When I first saw the ad that people claimed to be the sexualization of an 11 year old, I literally don't see it. I watched the video over and over again and I don't see the problem with it at all. Older men are sexualizing Ella because she looks like she's 18 and her parents even had to make a statement asking for this to stop and that the ad isn't sexual. I'll play the clip for you right now. Enjoy your Tok Tok Summer! Pink Star, Baskin Robbins. Apparently zooming in on her mouth with lipstick on is sexual and weird but I don't see a problem with it. Her parents were there when the shooting for this ad took place and watched it all. The company who owns the ice cream shops even mentioned that. The makeup she was wearing was at the general level applied to other child models. And the dress she was wearing was also from a children's clothing brand she is currently working for as a model. If I see a kid eating ice cream or a lollipop which is often seen as a sexual object too I just wish I could get an ice cream or lollipop too. What happens too is these underage K-pop idols performing sexual songs. For example is one's youngest member Won Young who is 15 years old and who was 13 or 14 when she was a participant on Produce 48. Performed side to side by Ariana Grande and that song is known to be a sexual song. The comments under the performance video say it all for me. She's too young to perform this. One young may not have known what the song was about even if she picked it. What if she found it catchy but didn't know what it was about? The producers of the show should have done something. One young was also wearing this very revealing outfit when performing. She may not look like she's uncomfortable but who knows what was going on when preparing for the song. I get that when performing you want your group to look fancy but you can make someone look fancy without having to make them show so much skin and have these super short clothes. When I was that age, I watched Spongebob and if I went out wearing these kind of clothes, my parents would have killed me. Now I know that one young probably didn't pick her stage outfit herself and that the stylist did it but the stylist should know not to put these kind of clothes on someone who's literally a kid. Even idols who are older than 18 are most of the time uncomfortable wearing outfits like that. A lot of people mention the difference between Ella and one young. That Ella is being sexualized for nothing. Her clothes aren't even revealing and it's not that she's dancing on a sexual song. One young is dancing sexy on a sexual song wearing an outfit that is questionable for a child. This still doesn't give anyone the reason to sexualize a kid. I've seen a video where one young has shown that she can speak English so maybe she understood what was being said in the song but didn't think on the meaning further. And all stage outfits are picked by the stylist so in no way has one young a say in it. In no way does that give you a reason to sexualize her. You can't use the excuse. She asked for it or she went looking for it because that just shows how much of a disgusting person you are. Ella and Wanayang being sexualized is disgusting and wrong in every way. 
When TXT's lineup was announced people were shocked at Hooning Kai's age but that didn't stop fans from sexualizing him. I saw this tweet that I won't read because it's disgusting. Sexualizing him when he is literally 16 and the person who posted that tweet was 20. There are already fanfics on Hooning Kai when he's literally a kid. I think this one is pretty well known among K-pop fans and that is making one member have the sexy image. Chewie the youngest member of K-pop girl group twice who is now 20 was 16 at the time a video of her dancing in an elevator came out. This video was an ad and many people started seeing Chewie as the sexy member of TWICE when she was 16 years old. I don't get how JYP themselves let Chewie do the ad when they know that she was only a kid back then. JYP tried to show Chewie as the sexy member of twice more than once when she was literally underage. I get that some K-pop idols look 18 but aren't and are actually underage but that doesn't give you a reason to sexualize them. You shouldn't be sexualizing someone you don't even know the age of too and you shouldn't sexualize someone in general. I've seen so many people who call themselves hard stands sexualize underage K-pop idols like Yuna from ITZY, Hooning Kai and much more. This needs to stop. It's truly disgusting. These idols are just kids. They have a different childhood than most of us have had but that doesn't give you the reason to be able to sexualize them. Sexualizing an underage idol makes me want to throw up because it's just a child. The companies should also stop trying to project an underage member as the sexy one of the group and they should protect them against such comments because again they are just kids. I think many things in the K-pop industry can change for the better and this topic is one of them. This is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. There are more underage K-pop idols who are being sexualized and I hope this can stop very soon. The companies should take action as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Awesome camera, long lasting battery life. Awesome screen, awesome camera, awesome screen, awesome camera, awesome screen, awesome camera, awesome screen, awesome camera, awesome camera, awesome screen, awesome screen, awesome camera, long lasting battery life.